So welcome students. In this video, let us look at what Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrices are. So first, let us look at what a Hermitian matrix is. So we have already learned what the transpose conjugate of a matrix is. So if the transpose conjugate of a matrix is turning out to be exactly same as the original matrix, then the matrix is called a Hermitian matrix. Hermitian matrix. The definition is if the transpose conjugate of a matrix or conjugate transpose of a matrix is equal to the original matrix, then the matrix is called a Hermitian matrix. In the other case, if A theta is equal to minus of A, if A theta is equal to minus of A or if A conjugate whole transpose is equal to minus of the original matrix, then we call it a skew Hermitian matrix. So Hermitian matrix if A theta is equal to A, skew Hermitian matrix if A theta is equal to minus A. So this is one way to look at Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrices or in another way. So in terms of the positional representation of the elements. So if the ijth element of a theta is exactly equal to the ijth element of a, then we call it a Hermitian matrix. If every ijth element of a is exactly same as every ijth element of the transpose conjugate, we call it a Hermitian matrix. If the ijth element of A conjugate is equal to minus of ijth element of A, then we call it a her skew Hermitian matrix. So this has to be valid for all i and j. For all i comma j which are possible. This is for all i comma j. So if you closely look at this, what is the ijth element of a theta? The ijth element of a theta is nothing but a j i whole conjugate, right? Because theta means we transpose the matrix and we do the conjugate. So a transpose ij is a j i, a theta ij is a j i whole conjugate is equal to a i j. So every a i j has to be equal to a j i conjugate. Here a i j has to be equal to minus of a j i conjugate. So this is the meaning of Hermitian matrix with respect to the positional representation. That means if you have, let us take an example, if you have a 2 by 2 matrix, you have a 2 by 2 matrix. So how do you construct a Hermitian matrix? So let us take the diagonal elements. The diagonal elements are elements where i is equal to j. So what does this condition look like if i is equal to j? So if i is equal to j, a bar i i is same as a i i. That means for the diagonal elements, the element has to be equal to its conjugate. The element a i i has to be equal to a i i conjugate. If you put i is equal to j here, a bar i i is equal to a i i. Means every diagonal element has to be exactly equal to its conjugate. What is the meaning of that? If a element is exactly equal to its conjugate, obviously, that means the element has to be purely real. So for Hermitian matrix, 
for diagonal elements. The element has to be equal to its conjugate, hence the diagonal elements have to be purely real. So this number looks like 3, this number looks like 2. The conjugate of this is also 3. So AII is equal to AIA conjugate. 2. The conjugate is same as the original matrix. Next, if you go to the non-diagonal elements, if i is not equal to j, so what can you observe about the non-diagonal elements? So a i j a i j is equal to a j i whole conjugate. That is, if you have an a i j, it is related to a j i. A i j and a j i are mirror images about the diagonal. So this is 1, 2 element, this is the 2, 1 element. So A 1, 2 has to be A 2, 1 conjugate. That is, if you have the element which looks like 2 plus i, this is the 1, 2 element of the matrix. The 2, 1 element of the matrix has to be the conjugate of this. It is 2 minus i. So the diagonal elements have to be purely real. And the non-diagonal elements have to be mirror images and conjugate to each other, right? And if you go and do the same analysis for skew Hermitian matrices, so what can you tell about the diagonal elements of a skew Hermitian matrix? So if you put i is equal to j, a i i has to be equal to minus of a i i conjugate. That is, the element has to be equal to the negative of its conjugate. So, when will a number be equal to minus of its conjugate? Obviously, if the number is purely imaginary, right? That means, for skew Hermitian matrices, the diagonal elements have to be purely imaginary. That is, let us put it as 3i and 2i. And for non-diagonal elements, the number has to be equal to the negative of the conjugate of the corresponding mirror image position. That is, if you have 2 plus i here, this element has to be the conjugate with a minus sign. If you have an element 2 plus i here, the corresponding mirror image position has to be equal to its conjugate with an extra minus sign. So 3i, 2i, the diagonal elements are purely imaginary and the non-diagonal elements are minus of conjugate to each other. So in this way, we can construct the Hermitian or a skew Hermitian matrix. So let us take an example of a 3 by 3 matrix and also try to construct them as an example. So let us now construct a 3 by 3 Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrix. So let this be a 3 by 3 matrix and a 3 by 3 matrix. So according to your analysis, for a Hermitian matrix, the diagonal elements have to be purely real. So let us write 3, 2 and 1. And according to your analysis, in a skew symmetric matrix, the diagonal elements have to be purely imaginary. So this looks like 3i, 2i and i. And the corresponding mirror images of the elements are conjugate to each other in Hermitian and negative conjugate in skew Hermitian. So if this element is 2 plus i, this element is 2 minus i. If this element is 3 plus i, this element is 3 minus i. If the element is i plus 2, this element is minus i plus 2. So every mirror image position is the conjugate of each other. So this is an example of Hermitian matrix. So let us go for skew Hermitian matrix. Here the non-diagonal elements, the opposite non-diagonal elements have to be negative conjugate of each other. So if this element is 2 plus i, this element is 2 minus i with a negative sign. If this element is 3 plus i, this element is 3 minus i with a negative sign. If this element is 5 plus 2i, this element is 5 minus 2i with a negative sign. Good. So this is how you construct a Hermitian matrix or a skew Hermitian matrix of any order.
Now, you can uh, find an interesting correlation between Hermitian skew Hermitian and symmetric skew symmetric. So, let us take a case if all the entries are real, all the entries of a Hermitian, a skew Hermitian matrix are real. So, it is not necessary that in a Hermitian or skew Hermitian matrix, all the entries have to be imaginary. So, if the elements are real, so what can you conclude? So, if the elements are real, so let us construct a Hermitian matrix. So, the diagonal elements are purely real, so 3, 2, 1, and the non diagonal elements are conjugate of each other. So, but if the elements are real, if this element is uh, 1, the conjugate of 1 is also equal to 1. If this element is 5, the conjugate of it is 5. If this element is 4, the conjugate of it is also equal to 4. So, if in a Hermitian matrix all the entries are real, so it becomes a symmetric matrix. So, you can see that this is a symmetric matrix. Right. So, Hermitian matrix with real entries is a symmetric matrix. Now, let us go for what happens for a skew Hermitian matrix. See so if all the entries are real. For a skew Hermitian matrix, the diagonals have to be purely imaginary. So, I want a real entries for all these elements. So, they have to be zeros, right? They have to be zeros because I cannot put any non zero real number. So, 0 is both purely real as well as purely imaginary. And what about the non diagonal elements? If this element is 2, this element is conjugate of this with a negative sign. So, 2 conjugate is 2. So, this element becomes minus 2. So, that this element is minus 3. This element becomes plus 3. 2 minus 2. So, if the entries of a skew Hermitian matrix are real, it becomes a skew symmetric matrix. So, that is the parallel between symmetric and Hermitian, skew symmetric and skew Hermitian. So, let us also look at further properties of these matrices.